Alright, hello, and welcome to another game tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make an awesome Thunder Gun Muzzle Flash. So first open up GIMP and go File. Yeah, stop moving mouse file. New. And just make a regular 64x400. Now do another file new, but go to your advanced options. Make the background color transparency. We'll save that for later, for now. Now, <laughs> you'll want, so uh, yeah, we're going to make a thumb gun muzzle, and it's going to be really cool. So uh, after all this, we want to go filters, render, clouds, solid noise, and turn these all the way up. It's the same way that, uh, Gimp, Gimp Know How did his energy ball tutorial, but we're going to change it up a little bit. So, now we go to colors, levels, turn the white, I mean turn the black up, and the white down. And you'll get some like around here, I guess. Now go to filters, blur, motion blur, and set it on radial. If your computer is kind of slow, it might take a while, depending how much you motion blur it, and sometimes it's really annoying. So you don't want to do it too much, like this. Like, you see how it's... I really overdid it. And, uh, we don't, we don't want that. We want this to... See, like, if I choose right there... Yeah, it wouldn't come out. But yeah. You don't want it too high, and you don't want it too low. So, do something about... I'd say... I don't know, let's see what I do in the video. Let's see. I go to 95... 94, I believe. Yes, 94. And, uh... That was good, 94. So, I want to put it on radial, 94. Motion blurring might take a while, like it did for me, depending on how your computer is. By the way, I'm using Hypercam too, so if you don't know why it's so cruddy and in the well doing this, the only reason I'm tracking the audio is because I'm using a Windows Movie Maker narration. But uh, you, but Hypercam too really isn't that good because it doesn't track the audio and the video of what you're doing at the same time. Just tell you if you look into that. But uh, now go to colors, levels again. Turn the white down, make it look kind of cool, like around there. And now go to filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. Now you can do this if you want to make it really bright, but I came into this, I saw it would be a little. I turn the distance down, but 0, 0, 0.075. I like that, but then I want Control Z, which is Edit Undo, because I didn't like that change. All right, now we're going to use. Oh, <laughs> didn't. All right, now we're going to use the Eclipse Select tool, which is the uh, kind of well, you understand the circular select tool, pretty much. And select somewhere where the uh, flash is good, um, but the middle part, all this, will not be in it. This is kind of like a frontal blast, and I do save it later in the video as thunder, but only because it was really cool. I hit Control Z as an edit undo. Accidentally, so when I tried to paste it, it said there is no image in the clipboard to paste. So I need to do this again. And it's actually very simple. It doesn't take much. You just, you can use these kind of outer lines to do, to mess around with the size. Get it to the spot of where you want it. And uh, it, it will be pretty cool. I know it doesn't 
I know it doesn't look like much. It looks like you're just selecting nothing. Doing nothing. But trust me, it's turned out very cool looking. It's very interesting. So control Z and control V for paste. Now, uh, <laughs> while it's still selected, choose the move tool. Looks like a bunch of arrow keys. And move it to where you want. I moved it to the center just because, well, that's where I wanted it. You can put it anywhere else and you can make multiple muzzles if you want. Now, choose the middle of it and edit around with that. Choose the best part of the middle that there is. <laughs> I'm pretty silent right now. Then I uh, hit the delete key since it's on a transparent background, it will go to a transparent. Now, I tried to Gaussian blur it right now, but really don't Gaussian blur unless it's unless it's really light. Unless it's kind of white, because you see it just looks like a gray blurred thing. And we don't really <laughs> want that, we want a white blurred thing, because it's the Thunder Gun from Black Ops, so yeah. So I want the colors leveled, turn the white down so it would make it a little bit brighter. Now once you do this, Gaussian Blur, and you go into Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and put it to something you like. Let's see what I chose. I chose to do 46, because it blurred it at a nice time. IR, E, and LRE, I don't know what those blurring types are. I don't know if they mean an entry or whatever. But then I saved this in my special movie folder. Then I saved special things I'm making. Call it movie stuff. Now if that's new vids. And go to muzzle flashes. I have made the ray gun muzzle flash already. And I have done a ray on impact and all of those things. Uh, impacts are kind of like when the bullet hits you. Like when the ray gun hits you, it shot. I, it, there's like a gray, you know, a green thing that hits you. Whatever. But uh, I'll show you how to do that in my next video. Okay. So, save that. Uh, stupid poop. <laughs> level thingy. And so then I click that off and I save this as I just saved it in it's like I'm going to movie stuff yet again. And I put it in the fucking base and I put it on my on front blast. Because I think I already made one and I saved it as a JPEG. But I really thought this one was better since it was saved in XCF and it brings out see I say this is like thunder gun blast or whatever really I just and I did that in it but I was selecting that to lead all of that and I just saved it as thunder 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 girls sorry I heard of the Thundercat show. I started watching it, but uh, come back in my next tutorial where I will show you how to make a ray gun blast an impact. Oh, and you can go into uh, your channels tool and check, kind of edit around with color. Do not click off or it turns black immediately. So you can mess around with that, do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, you can do something in your paths. I don't really know what paths are yet. But, uh, yeah. And so, uh, yeah. Tune in next time when I show you how to make a ray gun muzzle impact and all. Sorry, uh, just mess around with your channels and paths and whatever. Uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. And, bye bye. Yes, bye. Sorry.